Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a full case break of 2017 Panini Contenders Football. This is break number 10. Pick your team 10 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is our third to last case. So keep that in mind. The second to last case is already in the store right now. So check it out. We, I mean, if you want to do another one tonight, we could. Big thanks to, for Pick Your Team 10 on a Friday night, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. There it is, Friday the 12th. There's everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for making us part of your Friday night. We've got one more night tomorrow, so we can either do that. Well, we can do that. Probably do that contenders tomorrow, right? Let's fill. Let's get it halfway there tonight. Let's do it the next half tomorrow, and then we'll knock out another contenders. Still some great hits in contenders to be found here. Loved all that cracked ice stuff and whatnot. So there's all 12 boxes right here, Stack four stacks of three. All right, let's get into it. Five autographs, at least five autographs per box on average. Uh, I think there's sometimes points cards pop out of here too. So if you see that, points will be randomized to one person. So we'll collect all the points at the very end. It's a winner take all on the points. All right, so contenders, good stuff here. Um, well, we've got a lot of uh, football to talk about, folks. We haven't had a long break like this to discuss football in a little while. Uh, got a lot of big games coming up. That'll be good, but let's we'll get to those within a few within a few boxes. We'll get to those in a few boxes. Um, <clears throat> let's go through a little news first. Injuries. Antonio Brown leaves practice with illness. I don't, like the, I don't like the sound of that. His calf is good to go, but his immune system, not so much. He's got the sickies. He was not, he was not eating his, uh, his Wheaties or his V8s. He should have had a V8. How come he wasn't pounding emergency all week long? Mike Tomlin sent him home. He didn't, want, he didn't want him to get anyone else sick. The Bills part ways with offensive coordinator um, Dennison, Rick Dennison. After one season, that's the latest news. Saints defensive end Cam Jordan looking to, quote, destroy the Vikings. What other news? Oh, we've got previews here, too. We'll look, we'll, we'll look at these previews, too. Linebacker Brandon Marshall saying that, hey, Kirk Cousins could be a good... Uh, good match for Denver. Bill's general manager, uh, Brandon Bean, saying that we're trying to find a franchise quarterback. Yeah, Tyrod Taylor out. Nathan Peterman not, not impressing anybody. You know, the NFL investigating my Raiders to see if we violated the Rooney rule. Bossman was trying to scare me with talk about the punishment could be half a million dollars and a loss of draft picks and whatnot. But I, thought, I thought we had, I thought the Raiders had sorted that out beforehand. Everyone seemed to be saying the right things anyway. You know, John Gruden saying, oh, the Raiders have to go through the process and do all that stuff. We'll see. All right. We'll go, through the, we'll go through the games, the Vegas lines and all that in the next box. I mean, remember, the Vegas conversation is entertainment purposes only. Don't take us too seriously on, those, on these picks. We don't want you betting life savings on any of that stuff. Redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? So we're going to fly through these uh, base cards. Those don't ship. These will ship, but we'll figure out who they go to. These regular cards will go left and right on the randomizer. All these inserts will ship, of course. Vet base will not ship. So it's most of those season ticket cards won't ship. And our first live autograph is a playoff ticket auto. Jonu Smith, 46 out of 49. 46 out of 49. Yeah, flu season's here with a vengeance, Ed. I have managed to, managed to uh, avoid it thus far. I know Bossman was ill. Nick Jaspi, ill. I've managed to avoid it thus far. But it might, it'll probably get me. 
probably get me at some point. But you're thinking that they're pumping Tom Brady full of vitamin C? Tom Brady doesn't need vitamin C. He's got TB12, remember? Doesn't need that. Playoff ticket. Does Eli Manning start next season as a giant? 186 out of 249. What do you think? There you go. That'll go to the New York Football Giants. That's for Brian Berry. C.J. Beathard. Cracked ice, C.J. Beathard. 12 out of 25. Nice one for the Niners. That goes to James Scheisler with that. James S. There you go, sir. With this cracked ice now, James probably the only person in the world hoping that the Niners don't re-sign Garoppolo. <laughs> All right. For the hobby. It's important. Isaiah McKenzie, rookie ticket autograph for the Broncos. Ed Ramos with Oppo Joe Mojo. He actually got the Raiders too. He's got rivalry mojo going as well. Oh yeah, we've we got to set our Mac line. Mar Mac Brown, Marlon Mac, Mac Hollins. We've been setting the over under at like, I had it at three and a half and it's gone under every time. So we had to lower the line to three, kept going under. So now I think TJ wants to set, I agree with you, TJ. We'll set the Mac over under at two, even. And TJ says under. I'm going to go over again. I'm going to go over again on that, on Max, our Mac count. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for during the break, folks. Max. Do I have a pen? Let's book it. It's not Contenders 5. It's con yeah, this is Contenders 5. There you go. There it is. Mac over under 2. This is Contenders 10. Why did I write 5 on that? Yeah, this is Contenders 10. I'm losing my mind. There it is. No Max yet. Amir Abdullah, wow, playoff ticket autograph. Fear Amir, 72 out of 99 for the Lions. Adam Wilson with the Lions. I'm taking the over on this all, by the way. All right. Um, <laughs> Bengals pride's here for the jokes. Good. Come for the jokes, stay for the breaks. That's what I say. Uh, people guessing, Sam guessed Kareem Hunt. DZ guessing TJ Watt. No other guesses here, huh? I don't think I see any other guesses. All right. It's going to be Wayne Gallman. Nobody guessed Wayne Gallman? Of course it's Wayne Gallman. New York football giants, Wayne Gallman. That'll be for Brian Barry. All right, there you go. Here's your first box. Next box. Oh, Chris is here. Chris Masoner is here, urban legend in the house. He's got Texans and Chiefs in this one. And he's still chasing the Watson, Mahomes, and Hunt. Sam's like, I didn't guess Gallman. I thought it'd be too obvious. Go with the, go with the gut. All right. What other, what other news do we have here? Any other news? Any other football? Does anyone else have any football news for me? Panthers linebacker Thomas Davis saying that 2018 will be his last, will definitely be my last year. 
Norv Turner, right? Hired as offensive coordinator for the Panthers. Norv Turner, great, great offensive mind. Did we get you a Mahomes and a Hunt? I think no Watson though. That's that's for sure. I don't think we've pulled you a Watson yet. We haven't seen too many Deshaun Watsons in general. Oh, that's that's good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bengals pride saying Le'Veon Bell said he'd be willing to sit out the season if they franchise tag him. He walked that comment back, I'm pretty sure. I think he was like, I didn't mean it quite like that, you know, but I think he's half serious, though. I think he's just trying to say, he's just trying to say, hey, you know, like, pay me. Oh, I see, just one hunt. All right, all right. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, have, to be, we'll have to get you on the board with a few of those guys. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a good question. Is is it really making a comeback? Ed Ramos saying, Joe, what do you think about the XFL making a comeback? Will we get more he hate me? All right, there's Andy Dalton, 147 out of 249. That goes to the Bengals, Adam Wilson with that one. Uh, I'm not sure, Josh York. If it's a customer service related email, I usually don't, I'm usually not the guy to answer those. But I know the crew just came back from vacay earlier this week and got caught up with all of the shipping and everything, so I'm sure they'll get to it. Um, Chris Godwin on card auto, but after this break, I can check. If you remind me after this, it's going to be a while, but if you remind me after this break, I can check to see if we got it though. Chris Godwin. Going to the Buccaneers, Jason McGee. Any guesses on that redemption? Jamal Agnew, championship ticket autograph, 17 out of 49, nice. Bengals pride saying that Andy Dalton is gone? Nice, people guessing Hunt, Dee Westbrook. So, let's see, uh, yeah, uh, XFL is coming back, says TJ. McMahon selling the WWE to Fox. Well, I mean, I guess I guess I'm wondering why do we need the XFL? Do we need the XFL? Like I'm assuming it'll be over the summer. There's Ankelo Witherspoon, no relation to Reese. At least that that I know of. We got Jamal Williams being guessed out there by Jeremy. Um, and we got Tayshawn Hill, rookie ticket autograph, Saints. So they just want more drama, I guess. Now oh, Brian thinking maybe it's a veteran signature. And we got Elijah Hood, championship ticket. Four out of 49. Elijah Hood for my Raiders. That'll go to Ed Ramos with Raider Joe Mojo and Oppo Joe Mojo and Rivalry Mojo. All right. 
The redemption is rookie championship ticket RPS Jamal Williams. Jeremy Anderson guessing Jamal Williams for the Packers. Adam Kaiser with that one. For the Packers, Adam Kaiser. And that Saints auto goes to Darren McKenzie, by the way. I don't know if DMAC is in the room yet, Joshua. I have not seen him today. And Jeremy Anderson, a sorcerer, at least for that moment. <laughs> you guys remember the movie Frozen? You guys. You guys remember in the movie Frozen where, where that one guy is like, sorcery! <laughs> that part cracks me up every time. Every single time. All right, next box. Brian asking, Joe, have you watched the new Insidious movie? I have not. I don't even know what that is. What is what is that? I want to watch uh, that that Winston Churchill movie looks pretty good. Darkest Hour. I want to see that. I also want to see The Post with Tom Hanks. And I want to see uh, I, Tanya. Everyone likes movies about drama and women's figure skating. So Brian's saying that Insidious is they go ghost hunting and kill the ghost. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm into that. <laughs> I can wait for the DVD on that one. Sounds like a scary movie. I don't do scary movies. I get scared. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next box. Good luck. We got Carl Lawson for the Bengals. Goes to Adam Wilson and the Bengals. Sometimes these are numbered, so that's why I slow down on those. There's the famous. And there's Matthew Days for the Browns. Jared with the dog pound. Got some points coming up. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all in the points. So if there's multiple points, we'll just combine them together. Just FYI. I think most people know that by now. All right. DeMarco Murray. One of one. Super Bowl ticket, DeMarco Murray for Karen and the Titans. Wow. We're not going to see him play against your Titans or your uh, Patriots, Karen, but that's a nice one nonetheless. One of one. Karen, all aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. That was unexpected, too. I was like, okay, got an got a insert there. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's numbered. We've got Kenny G, rookie ticket autograph. Right on the card for Adam Wilson and the Lions. We've 
Nice. <laughs> Brian's saying, hey, it's a Super Bowl ticket. That means Titans go to the Super Bowl? I don't know if Karen wants to hear that. She's a Patriots fan. We have Adam Vinatieri, veteran ticket autograph for the Colts. Thought that was going to be Marlon Mack for a second. No Max yet. Uh, that's Jeremy Merle with the Colts. Hey, no worries, Jeremy. Anderson, have a good one. That one's for Jeremy Merle. Nice. And we've got Team Quads out of 199. And that is for Karen and her Patriots. Um, here was, I'd like to do a quick recap at the end of these. Nice one of one. All right, next box. Are there other other previews here from NFL.com? I feel like I don't see the other previews. Well, we'll see. All right. Brian asking, why is he the only kicker NFL kicker to do autographs? Maybe that's the only kicker they asked. Do you really want kicker autographs? Unless it's Adam Vinatieri or Morton Anderson. That's the other guy that does autos. I think amongst kickers, those are the only two that I'd want. <laughs> All right. Um, Brian Berry. Oh, needs a Davis Webb. I gotta find you a Davis Webb. I got to I got to a Gallman. Um Oh yeah, folks. Atlanta, the Falcons are at Philadelphia. The Atlanta Falcons on the road again at Philadelphia. Cold, cold Philadelphia. The Falcons are minus three. Who does everyone take? Falcons minus three or Eagles plus three? The Eagles, of course, are without the services of Carson Wentz. It's going to be a difficult one. Eagles still have a good defense. But Falcons on the road again. But maybe I think I'm hearing a lot of the public going with the Falcons. That might have pushed that line to minus three. Brian says Eagles, then goes, wait, you know what? Switches to Falcons. What does everyone else think? I'm not sure. The Eagles, obviously everyone knows that the boss man, Nick Jasper, you're big Eagles fans. So they are they are they're going with the Eagles, obviously. Now I don't know I don't know if they're making any friendly wagers on the Eagles. As the rule of thumb goes, don't 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 bet on your team. Too much too much emotion involved. But there's they're saying Eagles. And they want a low-scoring game, I think. If it turns into a shootout, then, you know, you edge goes to Matt Ryan and the Falcons. But if they can keep it a low-scoring game, that might that's going to be a good thing for the Eagles. They want to see a final score line of like 17, 14 Eagles, that kind of that kind of game. Ed saying Falcons. You're saying Fal Falcons minus 3 as well. Interesting. I'm not sure where I'm going to go. Speaking of the Eagles, there's championship ticket auto. Razul Douglas. Nineteen out of forty-nine for the fly. Eagles fly. That'll go to Karen. Rich Schmidt saying Matt Ryan will blow it. Yeah, I go. I'm going. I go. I'm going back and forth on this game. I'm like, I'm. I think I, I, I want to place a friendly wager, just for entertainment purposes. I want to place a friendly wager, but not sure which direction I want to go. There's a uh, Devonte Mays rookie ticket autograph. T 
TJ saying Falcons out. Eagles fly. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something I heard, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm hearing that that the that the line would be uh, Eagles minus one if the public wasn't betting so heavy. If the public wasn't betting so heavy on the Falcons. So that's food for thought. Because a lot of people don't believe in the uh, don't believe in the Nick Foles. Boom! There you go, Urban. Patrick Mahomes, the second rookie ticket on card autographs for Chris Masoner. There you go. He's got a good-looking autograph, too. And Joe Howard, yeah, I guess I would like a Sebastian Janikowski autograph would be pretty cool, too. I think you might be lagging behind a little bit, Joe, if you want to double-check your uh, your live button. But, yeah, I guess I would, li I would like to see some Seabass autograph once he's in the Hall of Fame. 11 out of 99, LaShawn McCoy. Championship ticket for Evan and the Bills. There you go. You're welcome, Chris. Hey, and it's that, that Patrick Mahomes came out early, too. We still have plenty of boxes to go. There may be some more. There's Witherspoon again for the Niners. That'll go to James. Bengals Pride saying, with Foles at QB, the Falcons will wrap it up by halftime, he says. Hmm. By halftime. That's a bold statement. It's a hot take. More bills. Rookie ticket auto. Matt Milano. But see now. Now the question is: Do the Eagles have too much rest, or did Full? Not does Nick Foles now have time to connect with his receivers? He's got a lot of practice time. Brian, you just can't keep changing scores. No, I'm not even going to say that. What's next? It's like two, two minutes later, you're going to change the score again? Can't do it. He, he had one score prediction, and then he's like, I'm going to do another score prediction. Well, you, you can just keep predicting scores, and then you're going to come back on Tuesday and be like, I got it right. And then be like, well, you predicted 12 different scores. You can get one of those right, I guess. No, that's not how this is played, Brian. Come on, man. All right, Rich saying, I don't like the Eagles at all, but the Falcons always pee themselves. Yeah, I mean, two games in, on the road in a row, that's going to that's gonna be difficult. And you, one has to think about the Falcons-Rams game, right? Were the Falcons, did the Falcons win because of their offense, or was it because the Rams kind of didn't show up? There are a couple bad uh, special teams error for from the Rams too that put the Falcons in really good position. So maybe that was it. Maybe the Rams just not quite showing up as opposed to the Falcons offense just doing well. All the Falcons defense, I guess, looked okay. But again, maybe was that more of a product of the Rams just not not stepping it up? Maybe playoff nerves for that young team? Possible. Now, what about, what about the over-under on that game? That over-under, Westgate has the over-under line set at 40 and a half. Is it going to go over or under? If it goes under, you know, I guess you could say that the, that the Eagles are going to win that game. I think the Eagles will win that game if it's under. But that's a low line, 40.5. 40, 40 it's pretty low. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody.
More Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Sydney Jones, rookie ticket autograph. That goes to Karen with the Eagles. Got more for James, rookie ticket auto, Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne identity. And Chad Williams is your next autograph. Rookie ticket auto for the Cardinals. Bryce with the Cardinals. Larry Fitzgerald. Nice, 34 out of 99, championship ticket insert for Bryce and the Birds, Redbirds. And we got John Ross, the third, Speedy John Ross. Rookie ticket autograph for Adam Wilson and the Bengals. We got Team Quad, 79 out of 99, Dallas Cowboys for James. Kind of a disappointing season for the Cowboys, much like my Raiders. I think a lot of people expected both the Cowboys and the Raiders. I mean, some people were talking about Super Bowl appearance for both of those teams. There's Matt Breida. Haven't seen him in a while. Rookie ticket autograph for James and the Niners. Next box, almost halfway there. One box away from being halfway there. So we are moving along nicely. Moving along nicely in this break. This is Contenders 10 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next Contenders football is in the store. That next Contenders football is uh, our second to last case. So get him into get into that Contenders before it's gone. All right, so no one's no one's gonna no one's gonna take a stab at the at the uh, the over or the under on that Falcons Eagles game. All right, the other game tomorrow is uh, and we'll be here tomorrow, folks. Three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern is when we start the broadcast, and we will be watching and discussing both of those games together. So come join us, break with us, and watch with us. Tennessee at New England. What does everyone think? Currently, according to the Westgate Superbook and most other books, they have uh, New England at minus 13 and a half. New England minus 13 and a half. What does everyone think? Now, I don't think the Titans have a chance to, to win outright, you know. But could they get, could they cover? TJ saying Titans, I think they can cover too. That's, that's my... That's my guess anyway. Or, or TJ, do you think the Titans will just win straight out? Straight up? That'd be good for a money line wager. You know, Bossman kind of saying the same thing too. I mean, but Bossman was kind of saying it in whispered tones. He was kind of hushed, hushed tones. He was like, Joe, you know, I think this might be the year where, you know. And I was like, I was like, what? I was like, you know. Where the Titans, I mean, maybe this is the last year for, for the Patriots. And I was like, that's crazy talk, boss man. He's like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not shouting it out, but in hushed tones. Oh, no, TJ saying cover. I, see, I think they could cover too. 
But if there is an upset, if there's going to be an upset, TJ says this would be the pick. Yeah, I think... I mean, Tennessee looked pretty good. And, and they're staked. And they have 13 and a half points to start the game. That's pretty good. That's not bad. What does everyone think? Championship ticket. Th uh, 47 out of 49, not 37. 47 out of 49 for Barry and the Giants. There you go. You're going to need this guy. Andy says, oh, Andy says, Mario throws another pass to himself. And look at this, a plate for the Ravens, Buck Allen. Buck Allen plate for Joe Hauer and the Baltimore Ravens. There you go, Joe. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice plate. And Joe Hauer, you're welcome, Joe. Oh, yeah, I think you're not lagging anymore. You're back on track. Um, and I think you're absolutely right. Derrick Henry needs to have over 100 yards for them to have a chance. Right. They, they got to they gotta try to control the game as much as possible. And that's with the, uh, that's with the running attack. You know, they don't have this guy. You know, but they do have this guy. That guy caught a touchdown. They need that guy to make things happen too. Oh, they might need this guy. Corey Davis, rookie ticket autograph. Horizontal edition going to Karen and the Titans. Nice. The legend of Corey Davis could be made this weekend. Although Karen is again is a, is a she's a Patriots fan, so I don't know if she wants to see the legend of Corey Davis emerge at least this week. Rookie ticket autograph, JHC Josh Harvey Clemens. Redskins Joe Hauer with. The Redskins as well. Another Razul Douglas rookie ticket autograph for the Eagles. Karen with the fly, Eagles fly. Bengals Pride asking, what's the over-under on Gronk hitting a defensive player? Well, there's a lot. He's going to be tackled a lot. And Devin Godshaw. Andy, last spot mojo. Joe, Joe Howard, you've never heard of what, who, this guy? Come on, Joe, I thought you were a football fan. Everybody knows Josh Harvey Clemens, safety from Valdosta, Georgia. Redskins rookie safety. Come on. Everyone knows that he tallied six tackles in the NFL debut during Washington's 2017 preseason opener. Weren't you paying attention to the Redskins preseason opener? Man. So, I mean, he obviously joined uh, Robert McCoon and Jamie Asher as a third Louisville player drafted by Washington. Recorded a game high 14 tackles and two interceptions versus Auburn during the 2015 season opener. Everyone knows that. Joe, come on. You you missed that game. Joe Howard says, I must have missed that one. Everyone knows about. I thought Joe Howard was a football guy. Clearly not. All right, we got this one will be a randomizer. 82 out of 199. Round numbers. Carlos Henderson, Taiwan Taylor. So that'll be a separate randomizer, not a left-right randomizer. All right, so there you go. 
Folks, you learn something new every day here at Jaspies. <laughs> That's why you're here. Knowledge is power. All right, we are halfway there. Six boxes to go. Guys, we're making some pretty good time here. We're making some pretty good time. Pick your team 10. Next pick your team is in the store. We've got an outside chance of doing another one tonight if you want to. We are down to our second. So this is our third to last case. Our second to last case is in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Joe does remember, just does, does remember John David Booty. Yeah, he was an old USC quarterback with a name like that. How could you forget? He should have converted to tight end, like Jake Butt. But what are you going to do? Missed opportunities. Tyler Stump is in the house. He wants that Bowman Super Draft, or uh, the Bowman Draft Super Jumbo filled. We'll call it Super Draft, sure. I think that's what I've been calling it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get that done at some point tonight. Yeah, that's true, Andy. Good time to check in on the, our Mac count. Our over-under was at two for today's contenders, but zero Macs thus far. I took the over. I think most others, TJ and others, have took the under. All right, a quick, we'll talk more about the Sunday games tomorrow, but quick look at the Sunday game. Jacksonville at Pittsburgh. This is an interesting one. The Steelers are minus seven. Who does everyone have in that game? Steelers minus seven. Saxonville, their defense looks great. Their offense, not so much. What does everyone think in that game? The over-under is also low on this, 41. Well, Bengals pride is saying Jacksonville, of course. I think we know why. Joe Howard says Saxonville kind of reminds him of, of his uh, 2000 Ravens. We've got Jacob, Abercrombie, and Fitch. It goes to Karen and the Patriots. And Urban Legend saying, asking, what position do you think uh, Alabama's QB hurts? What do you think he plays? People are saying that he moves to another position now that Tua Tui Valo, Tua, Tua is is going to be quarterback. Yeah, that'll be that'll be an interesting little bit of drama. TJ also says Jacksonville. Rich also says Jacksonville. Now, are you guys saying Jacksonville will cover, or are you saying they're going to win? I don't know. Big Ben Roethlisberger may, may have something to say about that. 29 out of 199 MVP contenders for the Steelers. That's for James. Wow. Rich and TJ saying straight up W. Not just cover. Straight up W. 3 out of 25. Nice championship ticket for Bryce. Yeah, Urban is saying, Chris is saying, Bortles was terrible last game. Should stick to the game plan that worked last time. Just run for net and then just a bunch of low-risk throws. Yeah, Bortles like, did, not, did not look good. I mean, they do have the pieces to get it done. I mean, everyone says defense wins championships, right? Any guesses on this right here? Redemption time. Guess that redemption. See, all the game this weekend, the games I feel are tricky, especially if you're putting some friendly wagers on it, as some of us are wont to do. And we were discussing those lines as inter, just as entertainment purposes, ladies and gentlemen, so don't take us too seriously, but we like to discuss that a little bit. 23 out of 249. Playoff ticket. All right, so yeah, Joe's saying, comparing the Jacksonville Jaguars to the 2000 Ravens. Bortles is like Dilfer. Fournette's like Jamal Lewis. That goes to uh, Derek and the Rams. Yeah, but the games are kind of tough to tough to pick this week, I think. 
in my opinion anyway. It's not it's not as clear cut. Last week was I guess was tough too. Playoff ticket, playoffs. Eight out of fifteen are Joshua Dobbs. Is Tyrod Taylor a redemption? Joe? I've not seen any of him. Maybe we have. Oh, look at this. Is this an autograph? It is. Wow. Little Raider Joe Mojo. Jim Otto. 20 out of 25. Nice. I think it's Ed Ramos. Yeah, Ed with my Raiders. Legendary contenders. The Raiders. Taiwan Taylor guessing Joe. All right. Adoree Jackson, rookie ticket autograph for the Titans. Gonna go to Karen and the Titans. And Rich was saying earlier that he's calling a Big Ben knee injury before the second half. Maybe this guy gets into the game. That would be good for the Steelers, for James and the Steelers. Good for him. Good time to have that R. Joshua Dobbs. All right, next box. Yeah, this is a this is a tough game, but people we've got a few people saying Jacksonville. Any uh, anyone going with the Steelers? Where's Steel Curtain to back up his team? Where's Michael Gallucci? We got a couple people bold enough. A couple people bold enough to 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 go with the Jacksonville Jaguars to win straight up. Not even just cover the the Pittsburgh's minus seven, just to win straight up. Anyone going with Steelers? Now they're both. Now the last time they met, that was back in Week Five. I, I feel like the Steelers were were quite a different team early on in the season. That'll be interesting. But all these games are tough. You know, Atlanta, at Philadelphia. I guess, you know, in terms of just, just winning... You got to think New England is not going to fall to the Tennessee Titans, but at minus 13 and a half, that might be interesting. And then Jacksonville, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh minus seven, hosting Jacksonville. And uh, Joe saying, I think the Joe Howard saying that I think the Antonio think that Antonio Brown's not 100 percent, and the Shay Z injury would would really hurt them. Urban saying, Chris is saying, Ben won't throw five picks again, but with Shazier out, Brown questionable, and is, Bur is Burns playing? Bengals saying, the only thing Pittsburgh has is playing with a little bit of emotion for Ryan Shazier. Could that be enough? I mean, are we just discounting, like, big Ben Rossberger? You know? He's at home. He does well at home. Are we just discounting Le'Veon Bell? That's it? All right, looks like we have more points coming up, so that'll be combined with that other point, bit of points, winner take all. We got playoff ticket, there's Alan Hearns. 89 out of 249 for the Jaguars. Bengals probably can see some uh, some. 
Big Ben being Big Ben, throwing some dumb interceptions. Yeah, I don't know why Le'Veon Bell did open his mouth. He's, he, he walked it back like today, I think. He walked it back like almost the next day. Cracked ice, rookie ticket autograph, Jeremy McNichols from the LBC from Long Beach. 20 out of 25 going to the Buccaneers. That'll go to Jason McGee. But yeah, Le'Veon Bell walked that back. I think I think he tried to be like, oh well, you know, when I'm asked a question, you know, like I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it honestly and this and that. But that's not really what I meant, you know. Obviously, dual auto, dual auto. Thirty-seven out of ninety-nine, round four, dual autograph, Janelle Pumphrey and Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen was a fourth rounder. I guess he was. That'll be a randomizer between Karen and the Eagles. And Jeremy Merle and the Bears. So he is under he is under the weather. I think his calf is supposed to be okay though. Okay, okayer, <laughs> better. You saw that Seahawks hit right over there. That's. Nazir Jones, rookie ticket autograph for the for the Cruz for Cruz and his Seahawks. And Chris Wormley for Joe Hauer. I think this is like your eighth Chris Wormley. Are you starting your, your, your Chris Wormley shrine? Go to the purple birds. Hey, hit's a hit. There you go. We'll see what happens with this guy. So there is a points card, the dual auto. Nice. You have 13 of them now? I was kind of half joking, but I guess I guess we have pulled a lot. I guess uh, yeah, I guess there was like one or two per case. All right, the last game we have not discussed yet. Um, so it looks like people undecided. They don't want to go on the record on the Jacksonville-Pittsburgh game. Only TJ and Rich Smith have gone on the record and, and have said they're Jacksonville to win. So they're on the record there. Everyone else seems to be a little nervous. New Orleans at Minnesota. Saints at Minnesota. Minnesota minus five. Who does everyone have in that one? That, that should be a good matchup. Honestly, I think the Sunday games I'm looking forward to the most. Jacksonville at Pittsburgh, and then the Saints at Vikings. Oh, Enmar, you took the Steelers? Oh, well, there you go, Nick. Nick Nick backing the Steelers in that game. And Enmar says Vikings on Sunday. Saints for the win, says Karen. Saints for TJ. And Urban Legend riding the Saints bandwagon all the way to the Super Bowl he says rich going Vikings so there's more opinions on this game people feel more strongly about this one okay Andy Andy Garner on the record Jacksonville and Saints to win right well I already I already said that Bengals pride we know who you were going for for obvious reasons in that game um, what do I think? I think, I don't know, I'll have to think on it. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you my picks in the last box. Stay tuned for Joe's picks coming up on the last box. That's called a teaser, folks. Unless you don't care about my picks, then you can just fast forward through and just look at the hits. Ryan Ruff is in the house. Are Vikings fans still sore about that playoff game against the Saints back in 09?
All right, we got another Chad Williams, Cracked Ice Chad, Chad Williams for Bryce and the Cardinals. Always love seeing Cracked Ice. Three out of 25 on that one. Julio Jones needs to have a big game. Stephon Diggs. I mean, Case Keenum. Case Keenum, pretty good. Underrated, right? Got a great defense, too. There's another uh, Taysom Hill for the Saints going to DMAC. It's your second one there, Darren. And Mark says the 98 still sings the worst. Todd in the house. What up, Todd? I uh, got more points coming up. That'll be combined with those other points over there. There's Terrell Suggs. I thought it might have, might have been an autograph. Terrell Suggs, 167 out of 249 for Joe Howard and his Ravens. And our first Mac, Mac Hollins. On card autograph, rookie ticket auto for the Fly Eagles Fly for Karen. Our Mac over under was two. Most people took the under. I actually took the over. It's not looking good for me, but there's our there's our first Mac. TJ still saying under. Um, Urban Legend, Joe, will you guys go to the National Card Show in Cleveland in August? I've never been there, but may take your son there. I'm planning on it. Ryan Switzer, championship ticket, 8 out of 25. I've not been told otherwise yet. I don't know. We actually don't plan for that until, like, way too close to the event. But no one said anything about not going. As far as I know, I am. It'll be a homecoming for Joe. I was, I was born in uh, Warren, Ohio. 003 out of 199, Mark Gass now. Legendary contenders for the Jets. Alex Carmichael. And I want to go to the uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame out there. So there there are excuses for me to want to, to go on to go. Todd got some Goodwin champions at your LCS. Good. Supporting your LCS. Pulled a Gowdy Sports Royalty out of Tiger Woods. Nice. Remember, there's the points, too. That counts for the other autograph. That's a good one, Todd. I've, I feel like I feel like Tiger Woods kind of coming back. New Orleans, Minnesota. Vikings minus five. It's a tough one. Saints are so, see the thing is, Saints are so well balanced. But I guess the, the the Vikings are too. Oh, I appreciate that, Todd. Well, you gotta support both. I'm your virtual card shop, Todd. You have two mistresses. You have virtual card shop, and then your, your actual local card shop. Oh, and Super Jumbo has sold out, excellent. So we'll do that break after this. This one's almost done. I'll need to take a quick five after this, and then We'll knock out that, uh, that super jumbo. After a, long, a lengthy break like this, I gotta take a quick breather. All right, good. We'll be giving away Star Wars Stellar spots too. Yeah, I was a little. I feel like I was a little more confident last week about the uh, about the about the games last week, the wild card round, but but this year or this week, as it's a little bit tougher for me to really figure out what, what direction I'm going to go.
Urban Lynch saying, Cruz gave your son a bunch of Panini gear that he got there last year. Nice. <laughs> Todd, I sound like your kids. Um, yeah, well, the, the National is great, especially if you have kids, Chris, um, and everybody else. It's great for the kids. It's re it is really cool. There's there's so much there. So there's a lot of eye candy for the adults, right? A lot of memorabilia that like Babe Ruth signed gloves and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of eye candy there. And for the kids, you know, there's like tons of like rapper redemption like promos that both Panini, Tops, and even Upper Deck does. You know, all the a lot of breakers are there. A um, lot of the big manufacturers are there, and. Everyone's really cool and everyone's giving away stuff and a lot of different vendors from uh, from all around the country are there. A lot of auction houses are there too, so there's a lot of cool things to see. Uh, Keelan Cole, rookie ticket autograph going to the Jaguars. That'll be Brett Clock with the Jags. And, uh, and Jason Cox saying the Titans are going all the way. That would be a massive upset. I feel like next football, the football world will met, melt down <laughs> if uh, if the Titans win. We got Chad Hansen to catch a pass. Chris Hansen catches predators on NBC, MSNBC, NBC, one of those channels. Chad Hansen, doubtful there's any relation, but Chad Hansen catches passes. That's his thing. Oh yeah, all the all the major distributors are there. Yeah, like GTS, and then and all those guys do a bunch of giveaways too. It's a it's a fun time. It's a it's relatively inexpensive. Nice rookie ticket, cracked ice, Devin Smith, twelve out of twenty five. There you go, Andy Garner, last bought mojo, cracked ice. Nice, Devion Smith. There you go. We met. I met Todd there last summer in Chicago. Met him and his kids. And Leonard Fournette. Wow. Draft class autograph. 34 out of 49. Nice auto. They're going to need a lot of Leonard Fournette, I think, instead of Bortles. All Bortles is a running back, too, but they're going to need more of. They're going to need more Leonard Fournette. Brett Clock with the Jags. Now, Brett Clock is hoping that Leonard Fournette goes off. So this card skyrockets in value. I think I went through this already, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a fun time. It, it is a it is a fun time at the national. All, all all the all the big companies do a lot of nice stuff for all the kids there. It's a it's a well done event. Elijah Qualls, another rookie ticket Eagles autograph for Karen. Uh, not a dumb question. The Nationals don't go to California anymore because um, I think a lot of collectors actually and card shops that are still alive, mostly East Coast and Midwest, there are some out here in California, but but um, it's also expensive. So it's kind of pricey to get vendors and dealers and everybody all the way out to California to stay at expensive California hotels, you know, and pay expensive... California Convention Center prices and everything. So it gets uh, gets kind of pricey. So they usually do it. They usually rotate between Cleveland, Chicago, Atlantic City, and I think Baltimore at some point. I had zero time to eat. 73 out of 249. Todd, I was the best part of the show, and you know it. Todd got to meet the San Diego chicken there. I was kind of jealous of that. I didn't realize he was going to be around. It's kind of a nice box. Yes. All right. Second to last box. Oh, that would be a good idea, Mark. Mark Bellinger in the house saying, we need to make a deal with Tops. 
and set up live for Star Wars breaks at the next Star Wars celebration. Where is the next Star Wars celebration? How to do that? I know, I'm like a celebrity to them, Todd. Say hi to the girls. Hopefully they're doing well. Elena doing the college thing? Is, is, is that working out? Uh, Urban Legend, yes. You can get cards graded at the National. Like real grades. They'll, they'll, PSA and, um, and Beckett are there to do grading. Uh, and they'll slap them right there for you. Although, I do have to say that you probably have to get there early. So the show... I think officially opens on like a Tuesday, I think. So you would have to get there on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday or something like that to to have a chance of getting your cards slabbed and graded and in your hands by the end of by the end of the week. But yeah, they'll they uh, they'll do uh, they'll they'll do actual grading there for you, or you'll have to wait for them to ship it over to you. Oh, good, that's good, Todd. It's good to hear. Um, yeah, well, you definitely have to say hi to us when we're there. I, I love events like that just because um, it's a good chance to meet all of you in person, face to face. You know what I mean? Like Todd's been breaking with us for a long time, and so you know it was good to see. Uh, well, Todd's actually been to the store before, actually, but it's good to see like his faces and kind of put faces to names and stuff like that. Um, and I think it was the first Leonard Fournette, right, out of contenders. Have we not seen a Leonard Fournette yet? Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Location of the next celebration hasn't been announced yet, but for 2019, yeah, it's got to be Orlando or Anaheim, right? Once they open up Galaxy's End, Edge, End, Howard's End. Remember that old movie, period piece, Howard's End? And Kello Witherspoon, another one for James and the Niners. Oh, we did have a four net the last break. All right, well, whatever it is, it can't be, We it can't couldn't have been too many. That might have been only been like our second or third four net. Maybe there was one like early, early on. Playoff ticket, autograph, Taekwon Mazel, 99 out of 99 for the Bears. Jeremy Merle with the Bears. We've got a Bears-Eagles randomizer at the end for a dual auto. So stay tuned for that. And we got Gerald Everett for the Rams. Rookie ticket autograph for Derek and the Rams. Ah, more points, but that's good for the winner. Winner take all on the points. Yeah, Star Wars Celebration. I definitely want, definitely want to do that. That's a good idea. We'll get a Mark Bellinger, we'll get our top men on it. Top men. Out of 199, Jamal Adams, Rookie of the Year contenders for the Jets. Yeah, um, believe it or not, Chris... In those big, uh, those big conventions, big card shows like the National, a lot of people um, bring their cards, you know, in like suitcases and stuff to to have graded specifically for that point. Because if they, if you get like I said, like I said, if you get there early enough, you can actually get them graded and back in your hands by the end of the week. Playoff ticket, Von Miller, two thirty eight out of two forty nine, going to Broncos, Ed Ramos. But yeah, uh, Todd was mentioning a little bit earlier that it seemed pricier to grade at the show. I think so. I think you may pay a little bit of a premium, um, especially if you're going to try to get it back in your hands by the end of the week. Which is worth, you know, which is worth paying for, I think. Um, cost seems to be relatively inexpensive, too. Joe Williams, rookie ticket autograph, because... It, unless you are there, because they have all week long, they have dozens and dozens of athletes um, who are going to be there doing signings, right? So unless you're unless you're going to be doing um, 
unless you can be really into those signings, I don't think you have to necessarily do all the fancy VIP pass stuff. If you do want to do those, like stand in line and do the, all the signings and stuff like that, then then yeah, I would definitely get the VIP front of line passes and kind of splurge for that. Wow, nice Marshawn Lattimore playoff ticket autograph. 18 out of 49 for DMAC and the Saints. Nice. Nice box there, too. Yeah, and the gradings do sell out quickly. Todd's right. So, I mean, it's best if people kind of get their, like, if you're, gonna, if you're going there with grading as one of your main priorities, getting there earlier in the week rather than later is good. Um, use Dad. Barry saying that you went to the celebration last year and it was the coolest thing you've done. I know. I, I, I actually went to a different Star Wars convention uh, that was here in LA, actually. Um, this was years before... Uh, before Jaspies existed, but Bossman, who was working at Tops at the time, had a booth there, and um, and it was cool just walking around there. So I can't imagine what the celebration would be like. I, f I feel like that would be that would be super cool. All right, last box, folks. Good luck, everybody. My picks for this weekend. With the line, I'm taking the Eagles plus three. I'm taking Tennessee minus 13 or plus 13 and a half. So a couple underdogs there. I'm taking ja Jacksonville, I think. No, I don't feel good about it. Jacksonville plus seven. And I'm taking the, I think the Vikings are going to win this one. So that's what I say. I think that's what I'm going with. Vikings are minus five, though. I don't know if I feel good about that. <laughs> I don't know. That's my... Picks may change, folks, but that's what I'm thinking about right now. You, you should, Andy. Panini headquarters less than an hour for you. Go get a job there. Yeah, he's like, be off to get a job there. Go get a job there. You'll be our inside man there. Uh, yes, Tyler Bowman did fill. That'll be breaking in about 15 minutes or so. Todd's still rooting for the Bears in the Super Bowl. There you go. Todd, I thought I thought that stuff was only legal in Colorado and California, not in not in Illinois. All right, here we go. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Marquez White for James and the Cowboys. We got so Buck Allen Day, 188 at 249. Playoff ticket for Joe Howard and the Ravens. <laughs> you know, it does not. Does not, Todd. Unless you're a rule follower. Which everyone should be. All right. Oh, this is cool. We don't see a lot of Cooper Cup autographs. There it is. 005 out of 199 Cooper Cup on-card autograph for Derek and the Rams. Ryan Ramzik for the Saints. D Mac with that one.
we have Josh Jones, championship ticket. Seven out of 49 going to the Packers. It'll be Adam Kaiser with the Packers. MVP contenders, Matt Ryan, 25 out of 25. You have to play like an MVP, I think. This tomorrow, actually, against against the Eagles. Eagles defense still strong. That goes to the Falcons. Josh Philo with a little something at the very end. We got Eddie Vanderos. Rookie ticket. I don't think I've seen autographs of him yet. Ed Ramos. Edward with the Edward. And the last bit right here. Gronk at the end. All right. Thanks very much, everyone. That was Contenders 10. Some randomizers that we have to do. So first of all, all the points are collected together. That's a winner take all on the points. Then we'll do that dual auto, we'll do left, right, and those round numbers. All right, so I need one, two, three, four lists. So we'll get some new dice. One, two, three, and four. First is left, right on those uh, round cards. Next is the round numbers card, uh, Broncos, Titans. That was out of 199, so we randomized the serial numbered one separately. Everybody has a chance at the points from Bryce down to Joe. And the big one is the dual autograph out of 99, Janelle Pumphrey for the Eagles, Tariq Cohen for the Bears. Yeah, oh, under on the Mac, by the way, in case you were keeping track. Just one Mac Hollins. Under. I think Rich and, uh, and TJ had the under on it, among others. I had the over. Lost again on that one. Okay. One dice roll for all the lists. Five and a four, nine times for all the lists. Left, right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right side will get them after nine times. So that'll be all the right side teams, Texans. This will be randomized separately nine times. Broncos, Titans, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Team on top, Broncos, Ed Ramos. Winning the randomizer on that. Everyone has a chance at the points. It's a decent amount of points, actually. Nine times. Name on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. That would be Chris. There you go, Urban. With, uh, with a bunch of points here. Not too shabby. And the dual autograph. 37 out of 99. The dual auto. Once again, five and a four, nine times. Eagles, Bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Flips to the Bears. That's Jeremy Merle with the Chicago Bears. You get the 37 out of 99 dual auto featuring Donnell Pumphrey and Tariq Cohen. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Do I, have any, I don't think I have anything else to do. That's it. That was Contenders number 10 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next case is the second to last case. Keep that in mind, and then we're down to, we'll be down to our last case before you know it. So thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.